What's going on, you guys? Endeavor here's gonna make this new video for y'all. Got a brand new package here in the mail, and this is quite a pleasant surprise. Go ahead and pop this thing open. This is this is this is this is very funny. You're gonna see. It's very humorous about this. This is a massive, massive box, and uh, literally for no good reason whatsoever. So I'll go ahead and pop it open. And you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Ripping off this bin here. Here we have the inside contents. This is literally a giant box full of nothing but stuffing. Because this, my friend, is the prize. The Samsung Galaxy Note 2 Smart Dock Multimedia Hub. Smart Mobile Solutions. I agree. What is this, you ask? The Samsung Galaxy Smart Dock. Because your Galaxy is more than just a phone. The Samsung Galaxy Smart Dock makes it easy to take advantage of your phone's high-speed internet connectivity and super-fast processor. Connect an HD monitor, external storage device, and USB keyboard and mounts to turn your smartphone into a productivity powerhouse. Make messaging, editing documents, and accessing media files a breeze. Plug in your 3.5mm stereo audio components or speakers, and you have the ultimate pocket-sized home theater and computer built in one. It has a 3.5 millimeter audio out, micro USB charging port, an HDMI out port, and three USB ports. There's another nice little look here at the box. Again, proclaiming everything it comes with. Uh, this is quite a treat. So let's go ahead and tear okay, it right so into we just it. Right open the box here. Go ahead and take all this stuff, set it all aside. You know exactly what all is going on with this thing. This thing is, like I said, a monster, my man. I do hope it comes with an actual charging cable. I assume it actually comes with a charging cable. <laughs> so here is a USB cable. And it comes just this tiny little box. That's why it was ridiculous that it comes in this packaging from UPS. You can definitely see the uh, the problem with that. I don't know why the hell it needed a box this big. But I'm glad they stuffed it full of packing crap because it wasn't cheap. These things are not cheap. These will set you back quite a bit. Let's go ahead and pop this open and see what all is going on inside. So, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Take it. Lift open this little trap door. Exposes your charging plug there where you would simply set your phone in said cradle. Here on the side is the business, of course. Two USB ports here. One on this side and on the back, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the actual power plug, I believe, and an HDMI output. Very, very nice. All right, guys, so now we're going to actually take a look at the dock itself and figure out exactly how all this works. We have the dock here. Here's all the different cords we're going to need. USB cord attached to this uh, keyboard here, a USB for this mouse over here. Uh, the headphone jack, so we're going to use this to get audio from the speakers instead of out of the screen, and an actual HDMI cord itself in order to hook that screen up to the dock itself. Again, on the back side, here's all the input ports, HDMI, the headphone jack, and the power port, and again, these USB ports on the side. So what we also need, or anything to work at all, is an actual power cord for the device. This is the standard one that comes with a new Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So we're just going to hook this in and everything will work out fine. Uh, the only issue is that in my particular case, literally in my particular case, um, I have this large silicone case and these do not physically fit with this cradle. Um, they have these little bars right here that actually helps rest the phone in place and this does not actually make a connection and in fact literally doesn't fit. So in some cases, literally in some cases, like I said, you're going to have to take off your case and put your phone in in a different fashion. Um, I'm assuming it's mostly with these silicone cases. For example, I have this hardcover body glove case right over here that I can simply put over the phone itself. And this will work just fine, resting in that cradle again. So one thing we do have to do uh, right quick is we have to change some of our dock settings so we can get some actual audio out in this fashion. So let's go ahead and take this right quick. Go down to your settings menu and here in the accessories section you're gonna find 
dock settings. Dock sound. This plays a sound whether or not you're whenever you put the the phone in the dock or not. And this was one in particular we're looking for the audio output mode. Use external speakers when device is docked. Um, I don't want it to run out of the HDMI into the screen. I want to instead use this 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and run audio out of these speakers with that subwoofer down there. So, and in the case of HDMI, if you do have a good set, you can actually set up a stereo or surround sound. Again, from this accessory mode here in the settings. So I'll just go and hook everything up and I'll show you just how easy this is. Like I said, it requires a power cable. Without this, you can't do anything. So we'll just hook that in the back. Okay, that's in place. Now the dock is connected and it now realizes that it's in a dock. It actually boots up this dock mode. Uh, it keeps your most common apps here, uh, internet, my messenger, Steam, Voxer, and apps, and then also tells you other stuff that's going on and instructs you to have a wonderful day. See you better. Again, in the back here, I'm going to hook in this 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so we can get sound out this thing. And now we're going to hook in this mouse. And on this other side of it, a keyboard. And again, it says across the top, mouse connected, and that now a keyboard has been connected. And to seal the deal, we're going to hook it in through HDMI. Bada bing, bada boom. Display. Now here's the next uh, problem you're going to run into. And again, here you can see the cursor on the screen. Um, here's the thing you're going to run into next, and that is that um, the actual sorry, the actual device itself um, realizes that it's in landscape or probably in portrait mode, so it displays in portrait mode. Uh, this can easily be fixed by simply going and downloading somewhere in your Play Store or whatever um, a rotation app. Personal one that I pick is an app called Rotate. Uh, you do actually have to pay for this one, but it's really good, so I drop down like two or three bucks to get it. And in this particular case, get any of these uh, rotation apps, and we're looking for landscape. Force landscape, and bada bing, bada boom, you now have a 720p display shown the way it should be, in a horizontal fashion. And it's that simple. Right off the bat, you can see that the cursor works, the keyboard is responsive. And use this here to bring up a settings menu. You can control the actual volume of the phone with my volume knob here. <laughs> and again, I can even use some shortcuts. I can uh, hit a calculator button. No, I can't, sorry. You can bring up email with just a push of a button. And you can also, um, by pressing this music player, I can boot up music player options. So that is also a very nice touch. And navigating around with the actual thing is very smooth. You just simply click and drag as you normally would, like using your finger. And if you want to perform a back action, you simply click the right mouse button. And that would allow you to progress forward and move back in said fashion. Very, very easy. Very, very cool. Um, if you want to go to the home, you simply press the middle button like so. And just to test out the USB drive support, uh, I've got this Sand Cruiser Micro here plugged into the dock. We're just going to navigate to the My Files section. And here we're going to play a song that I created yesterday using Reason. Just a little drum beat. And as you can see here, there's the power access light. It's currently accessing the flash drive to play this song. So all you would do is just navigate to USB drive instead of SD card. That symbol. So the dock is great. Um, allowing it to display on this large screen is very comfortable. And let's go ahead and just pop up a video right now. And with just like that, now we're playing a YouTube video. We can turn on the speakers here. Get audio out of these speakers. Here we are again, just pop up the video here. This is my actual unveiling of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So, this will perfectly sum it up entirely.
aka the screen is hoog don't believe me check it out the screen is hoog tis as big as my face hoog and now you know the no one's way more than half the battle by the way so now you know and just like I had just said knowing is way more than half the battle the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 smart dock officially made by Samsung is awesome having these three USB ports having the HDMI out allows you to display your phone on any size screen you want put it on a projector and play it on the freaking Empire State Building or whatever if you want uh, the USB support allows you to expand it with hard drives and whatever the hell you want to plug into it keyboard mouse whatever you like um, I'm sure you can support game controllers and stuff at some point. So, again, with the 3.5 millimeter jack, you can get this fantastic audio out for a good set of speakers if your particular setup doesn't allow something like that. And uh, the dock is great. Uh, having the keyboard and mouse option makes productivity go through the roof, um, especially if you're someone who texts all the damn time. Uh, just hooking up a keyboard to it, excuse me, will do a huge, huge difference for you. So you sit there and just pop up a search bar and just go as fast as you want and it's fantastic. So definitely if you're someone who would like to take advantage of that and again use a mouse to navigate around and in cases where you would have to, you know, really zoom in really really far and try and get, you know, peck around on websites, this just makes it a breeze to zoom in, dash around the websites and uh, also whenever you ha do have this the actual phone itself is still responsive it just displays the I, I believe there's an option somewhere to have the screen turned on and off I just usually turn it off that way it charges um, better so anyway if you're like me and uh, have an older machine that just doesn't have the same nice processor that they once had before the internet changed up this kind of dock can make a lot of things web browsing and and everything a lot easier for you and it'll cost you a whole lot less to run than a big old computer would so anyway thank you again for watching guys I do hope you liked the video and you guys need to check out one of these things if you actually got a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and if you don't uh, consider getting this phone because it's awesome I'm going to definitely have this phone for the next couple years no question it's going to stay relevant so again guys thank you for watching I will catch you guys later peace